I'm Buck Paulson from the Painting with Paulson TV show. And I come to you with a new idea. And you might say, where do you get your ideas? Doesn't the canvas kind of scare you? Where do you start? I want to show you something that I sometimes do. I have a canvas and I have a lot of colors on it and just kind of push it around. I don't know what I'm going to paint. What would happen there? Oh, maybe there's a guy out there standing with a baseball hat going to throw a baseball. What about this? Oh, I don't see anything there, here. Well, that's, that's a big swoosh. Over here, hey, I see a wave. So let's just bring this down and we'll go ahead and work that up. That's how I get some ideas. So we'll take a fan brush and I'm going to start with some blue and white and we'll put it all over here. This will represent the top of a secondary wave. And then I want to have a real large wave down on the right. So when you do these things, you always have in mind composition. So I have big weight on this side, sort of distance on this side, and I'll have the sun. I would love to be able to use that as the sun, but it's too far over the side. So I'll push this up and I'll let this uh, move on into a rock a little bit. But this is how I like to work creatively. Second wave down there. Actually, I guess you're the third one. The third wave. And splash up, when I say splash up, thin it out slightly at the top. This one will, will make it a little more misty too. I had kind of a thought of, you might be a sailboat, but you're, you're no longer a sailboat. You're into the action of a wave. Now, what will help? A little movement, a little movement. And this would be represent the water, foam patterns, what have you, that are going in that direction. You sort of need to disguise them a little bit so they don't become too repetitious. Now, down in the big wave, I want to have a strong eye, what they call it, the see-through area. So let's take some white and some, this is uh, thalo green, so thalo green and white, real strong eye there. And what will enhance that eye is when it has some darker water next to it. So we'll take some ultramarine blue and put this in. And then I'll blend those two together. Mm. Looking good. And a little blue down below there. We can even put just a little blue in there that gives a little quality to the uh, water being more than just one color. Okay, the next thing we have, it looks like a rock, doesn't it? So we'll make use of that. Your Van Dyke Brown, let's take a little water. I'm gonna I'll put just a little red in that too, not much. Over in here, this be the rock. This be the climax of that wave, having made the trip across the ocean. That's what I used to think, that the waves go all the way across, but it's a, energy orb underneath that kind of goes and these water raises up, turns over, goes to the next one. Oh, you, that's going to be on your final test in science. Okay, so now we'll start going just a little bit more. I, ooh, I, I need to have a little light and this is blue and white. Just a little feeling of uh, some of the previous water that's been on that rock coming off. I'll blend this around so it's not quite as strong. But you'll see, we're, we're waiting for the dessert. The dessert train is coming. And what is that going to do? It's going to make that wave pop. So let's, oh, I'm gonna, you're gonna have to wait. I'm, I'm going to put in a little color in the sky. This is blue and white again, so we got the same blue over in here. 
The, uh, the fact that you have all of the previous color on the canvas and it's all dry, then you can push this around and make use of that. Gee, I so like you. Well, thanks for being a part of it. Okay, now let's do this. Let's go strong. Here's yellow ochre and white, and we're going to go into the sky. We're just going to say, okay, move the watch a little bit, so we'll put the sun back over in here. And I'll blend it, blend it around like that, and maybe just a little bit, the sun coming down. And what happens when the sun hits the, the foam? Oh, you get highlights. Get out of the way, paint. Here comes the big brush. Oh, this is, oh, what might help if you uh, just wipe a little bit where you're going to place it so it goes kind of on a dry part of the canvas. And then you have, anytime you have a larger wave, you're, you're apt to have a kind of a little secondary level. This is a two-story, a townhouse. And down on this one. See, I have the path. I have a straight path down. Let's go out to the other uh, wave. It's a little bit out of the straight line of light traveling so we don't put quite as much on it till we come there. Okay, I'm going to blend this slightly and then let's go to ice cream toppings. So here's a knife, yellow ochre and white. Look at that. Right in there, maybe just a little silver lining in a few places. And we'll take that same vitality and we'll come down on this spot, this straight line. See how that's strong? It had just a little orange in it. I love it, leave it. Straight down, right to there. So painting is not boring. There might be times you're tired and you might search for an idea, but this is one way where you put a lot of color on a canvas, let it dry, and then see what you see. Use your imagination. Look into the sky. See characters in the clouds, in the trees, in your life. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. This program is funded by the North Dakota Council on the Arts, the Minnesota Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund, with money from the vote of the people of Minnesota on November 4, 2008 and by the members of Prairie Public. <laughs>